Introducing the Barista Touch Impress with step-by-step -step barista guidance and auto milk. Less mess, less fuss with the Impress Puck system. Time to unbox. Lay the box on its side and use the flap to slide the machine out. This can be tricky as it is a snug fit, but the flap will make it easier to slide out. You'll find a box of accessories that all have a part to play. You'll also find a useful tray that can be used to store accessories, such as filter baskets, burr brush, or cleaning tools. Right, now let's wash all the parts and accessories and dry thoroughly before use. Soak the filter in water for five minutes. Set the new filter to the current month. Pop it into the filter holder, fit the holder snugly into the bottom of the tank, and fill with cold water. Check your water hardness by dipping this test strip into the water tank. You'll use this info shortly. Place the water tank into the machine. Fit the bean hopper to the top of the machine like this, locking it into place. Now, let's power it up. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the screen to guide you through the first use setup. It's pretty simple. It is recommended to always use freshly roasted specialty coffee beans for the very best results. However, if your roast is beyond 30 days, you'll be prompted to increase the grind size and use the dual wall filter baskets. Let's go with fresh. When prompted, Enter the result from the water hardness test strip so the machine automatically alerts you when to descale or change the filter. Now the machine is set up. You're ready to make your first coffee. Even the best espresso machine won't make amazing coffee without the right beans. So let's talk to an expert to get the inside scoop. Paul Geshas of Mecca is a professional coffee roaster. So let's ask him what to look for to enjoy third wave specialty coffee. Well, it starts with freshness, but you don't want too fresh. Coffee beans are at their peak flavor from about five to 30 days out of roast. Immediately after being roasted, coffee releases CO2, so using it before that five-day mark makes it a bit more challenging to work with. Once the beans are older than about 30 days, volatile aromatics start to fade, so the coffee loses the best parts of its character. Always look for a roasted on date. This is your key to freshness. Once you open that bag of coffee, beans start to age, their flavor is affected by oxidization, similar to when you open up a bottle of wine. That's why it's so important to buy freshly roasted beans, preferably from a roaster like me or your favorite cafe. There it is, straight from a pro. Only buy beans with a roasted on date, so you know exactly how fresh they are. If there's a use by or best before date, you won't be able to tell if they're fresh or not. The Barista Touch Impress comes pre-programmed with all your cafe favorites from espresso to cappuccino. Simply swipe and select. Now, let's make that latte, shall we? Grab the portafilter. Now, this is key to enjoying third wave specialty coffee, and it's similar to what's used in a cafe. Insert the portafilter into the grind cradle, and the dose icon will illuminate. This machine has 30 grind size settings. The wide range allows you to finely tune the grind size for your desired extraction and flavor outcome. We recommend you start with a grind size of 15 for fresh beans or size 20 for older beans, then adjusting as required depending on your coffee beans. Press the dose icon to start grinding. Now here's where the magic of the Impress Puck system comes in. When the grind cycle is completed, the tamp icon will be prompted and your machine is ready to tamp. Push the tamp lever downwards this action tamps the coffee grinds in the portafilter using a consistent 10 kilograms tamp force to create an even coffee puck. The tamp is finished off with a barista twist, rotating the tamp seven degrees to clean off excess grinds and to polish the puck surface. Complete another tamp action for an extra polished puck surface. The LCD dose level indicator provides feedback on your tamp. 
The green line is the ideal tamp level and the right amount of coffee grinds in the portafilter. This is the level you're aiming for. If the dose level is below the ideal amount, the machine will flash a bit more beneath the dose icon. Press the dose icon to add a bit more grinds to the portafilter. Then complete another tamp for a new dose level reading. When the ideal dose level is reached, the machine will automatically calculate the auto dose time for the next grind cycle. If, on the other hand, the dose level is above the ideal level, remove the portafilter from the cradle and use the razor trimming tool like this. The machine will calculate how much to reduce the auto grind time and update this for the next grind cycle. Now that's impressive. Now, it's time to brew. Insert and lock the portafilter into the group head. You have the option here of a single or double shot espresso. Let's go with a double shot. Touch the middle icon to begin extraction. Let's take a closer look. Look at that. Flowing like thick, warm honey. That's what you're looking for. Here's where the four keys formula comes in. Key number one, a full bodied coffee with rich and complex flavors is created using the ideal dose of 18 to 22 grams of freshly ground beans that the Barista Touch Impress delivers. You can change the setting at any point to suit your particular needs. Key number two is a perfectly balanced espresso with sweet, delicious, and nuanced flavor notes that comes from brew water temperature delivered at precisely 93 degrees Celsius, just like a commercial machine. The Barista Touch Impress uses digital PID technology to achieve this. Key number three is about the right pressure during the extraction. This is one of those times when bigger is definitely not better. We start with low pressure pre-infusion, followed by a high pressure nine bar extraction process delivered via our 15 bar Italian pump and an over pressure valve. Achieving the perfect espresso extraction is based on a number of factors you need to monitor and adjust regularly. Here's a barista to explain how it's done. Hey there! Let's take a closer look at some extraction results you might come across and what adjustments you need to make to consistently create that balanced espresso shot. Pay attention to the shot clock as each extraction starts. If your espresso is flowing too fast, it's under extracted and you'll need to decrease your grind size, making it finer for the next coffee you make. However, if it's flowing too slowly, it's over extracted. So increase your grind size, making it coarser for your next coffee. Keep an eye on this each time you make a coffee for that perfectly balanced shot, just like this. Brilliant, Leo. So the perfect extraction is all about finding the right grind size. Got it? Good. Now you have the perfect espresso shot. It's time to texture your milk and create silky, velvety microfoam that every milk coffee needs and is essential for latte art. Tap under the milk jug icon to select your milk type. Dairy, almond, oat, or soy. Here, you can also adjust the milk temperature and the level of milk froth. Let's use dairy milk. Fill your jug with fresh, cold milk to just below the spout mark. Insert the steam wand into the jug with the tip below the surface of the milk. Ensure the milk jug sits in the correct milk jug position on the temperature sensor. Then, tap the milk icon to activate the auto milk hands-free milk texturing. Milk texturing will automatically stop when the desired milk temperature is reached. Now, let's talk about the science of microfoam milk. Here's Rob, a product development manager from Sage. The science of microfoam milk is the fourth and final key of our four keys formula, and it's just as important as the other keys. You need powerful steam pressure at around 130 degrees Celsius. 
This is essential to create shiny, silky microfoam that has a rich, velvety mouthfeel. Without microfoam, latte art is impossible. High-powered steam transforms the milk into thousands of tiny bubbles. When combined with the espresso, these trap the espresso oils to create a delicious, balanced flavour and mouthfeel. And that's how we engineer all our machines, to replicate the performance you get from professional equipment. Thanks, Rob. Once your microfoam milk reaches temperature, lift the steam wand to remove the milk jug. Wipe the steam wand with a damp cloth. Then, lower it to the downward position to activate automatic purging, removing any milk residue from the wand tip. Now, it's time to finish off that latte. Hey, Leo, you still there? I sure am. I'll take it from here. Okay, first you want to swirl the microphone in the jug. Start by tilting the cup before pouring the microphone directly into the center of the espresso, not breaking the crema to create a blank canvas. Then move the milk jug close to the surface until the white appears and shake the jug gently from side to side and move back. Then pour back through the art, lifting the jug up to create a finer stroke to finish it off. Just like this. Let's not show mine, shall we? But practice makes perfect. Give me some time. So now you know all about the Barista Touch Impress. The fun really begins. Get creative with different drinks like cappuccinos, long blacks, or even espresso martinis. Before you know it, you'll be mastering the best style of coffee on the planet. So there you have it, the Barista Touch Impress. Less mess, less fuss with the Impress Puck System.